Let's get on with the story, shall we? Recently, my friend and I were catching up, and he asked how my dating life was going. So I told him about my last date. You guys already know how it went down. So anyway, he recommended OkCupid to me. A few days ago, I decided to sign up to see what kind of fish they have. I'm suddenly craving fish and chips. Anyway, so I had to answer a few questions at the beginning, making it easier for the app to find people who are more compatible with me. After that stage, I could browse through profiles by swiping left or right on them. So Tinder basically, except you can see the compatibility percentage under the pic. So Tinder with Matt. As I was swiping, I came across a familiar face. I think I remember stumbling upon one of his videos like six years ago. After reading his profile, I realized that he is that YouTuber. Personally, I never date a YouTuber, but since we have common interests, I thought it'd be nice to make a new friend. You are 94% compatible. Come on. I mean, he likes anime. I like anime. He's an introvert. I'm an introvert. He's a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. He really uploads. So I swipe right on his ass. And bam, we have a match, folks. I messaged him at like 4pm and he didn't message me back until midnight because he went on a date. He was telling me how his date thought he was a catfish. So she invited 15 of her friends along and that date turned into a selfie taking meet and greet. I can't imagine how angry he must have felt that day. I would be pulling my hair, I would be punching pillows, I would print her face on a piece of paper and rub doo doo on it. What was this video about again? Oh yeah, he was telling me about how that date made his social anxiety worse. Which I can understand. I told him about the time when my date invited two other couples with us. And I felt so uncomfortable that I left during the date. I really, really don't like being around people who aren't from my small bubble of family number ding dongs. I'm referring to my friends and family in case you haven't caught on yet. I don't go outside very often. I prefer being at home where it's nice and quiet. And I don't have to put in any effort to interact with other humans. Eh? But of course it's nice to see my friends and family once every few months. So anyway, he and I were texting back and forth until I eventually fell asleep at 2am. After I woke up, I messaged him, but this time he only gave me dead responses. You know them ones when you can tell that they're just not interested in you. So you look at the contrast between the length of your text messages and his text messages. I was the only one putting in all the effort talking about anime, while he's just replying with ha ha's and lols. I recommended the anime, Mira no Kaikata, and sent him a link to meet his life scene. He probably didn't even click on that link. He probably think I'm one of those people who send links to my own videos and be like, Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Boop, 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 boop. So yeah, that combo was dying fast. And I'm sitting there thinking, Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. This boy's planning to ghost me soon. I can smell it from a mile away. After I finished work, I looked at the app and he was gone. Not unmatched, because then our chat history was vanished. He literally disabled his whole profile. That date he had earlier must have screwed him up so badly that he lost trust in people. Leave it that or my last message made him shoot himself because I joked about headbutting him on a team. I should never be allowed to talk to people. Now here's a message for him, although he's probably not going to see this anyway. You must have suffered a lot. I can't even begin to imagine what it feels like not being able to live a peaceful life without people stopping you for a selfie all the time or not being able to tell whether someone genuinely likes you for you or because you have millions of subscribers. Some people forget that YouTubers are also human beings. You must be very angry with the world right now. I just want you to know that there are nice people out there so please don't give up hope. I'm not even mad that you disabled your account. After hearing about what you've gone through, I want you to take this opportunity to charge your battery and whenever you're ready to face the world again, keep your chin up high, super high, just don't forget your neck, okay? Even though our chat was brief, it was a pleasure knowing you. Please don't suffer alone in the dark anymore because it hurts the people around you. And finally, I want you to be happy. Thank you for listening.